The grand final of series 46 of which long-running quiz show was shown on BBC Two last night? Oh, yeah. St Andrew's Minchin. University Challenge. Uh, we're joined by one of the most famous voices in television, the voice of University Challenge, Roger Tilling. Good morning to you. Hello, good morning. Thank you very much morning. for coming in. And you, you've been involved in the show now for how many years? 20 years. Wow. I what can't it, believe it either. What is the enduring appeal, do you think? Because it, it's, it's actually gaining popularity, isn't it? All, every series, really. It seems to be. Um, I mean, basically, I think University Challenge is probably the most fiendishly difficult quiz show in Britain, and it is, I think. But um, also, I just think... It's amazing to see, you know, bright young students with such a vast and wide spectrum of knowledge. And I think um, it gives us hope. <laughs> right, honestly. I think also, isn't it great at home? It makes you feel really good about yourself if you can answer maybe one question. Yeah, that's correct. what I'm saying. I average one. Yes. <laughs> I got one right in the final last night as well, which I was very happy with. You <laughs> show off. Big brain bot, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Um, there's so much pressure involved, um, obviously for the contestants, um, also for you, Roger, as well, isn't there, to get the name right very quickly? Just a little bit. Most people think I'm recorded. I am there. I am live. And I only see the name when it goes up on the board. Right. And um, the longer it is, the smaller the font is going to have to be. Right. So, uh, and do you, do you, you do get some complicated names, don't you? One or two, yes. Yeah. <laughs> do you practice them before you go in for the day? Or I, only get, I get about four or five minutes really? to see what they are and then just kind of walk around the studio thinking, Darren Norsik's or Darren Norsik's or. And that's true. Has anyone ever come up to you afterwards and said you, you mispronounce my name? Not yet. All oh, right, you see, that's the, the professional uh, Yeah, I think they probably, I mean, they probably wouldn't mind. Anyway. Roger, one of the great things about it is that you do, and I know you, you, you're aware of this, you get more excited as the programme gets on because because you're doing it live, you get into it, don't you? And your, your voice sort of changes pitch as you get to the later, later question. Yeah, I'm not, not putting it on. I, I'm <laughs> playing the game. I'm getting so into it. And, uh, yeah, if, the, if there's ten points, you know, kind of towards the last 15 seconds, I'm thinking, goodness, you know, who's going to win? <laughs> Um, and what's it like working with Jeremy as well? Because he's under, you know, he's got to... But, I mean, I know you can obviously retake it because it's not live, but yeah. he's under quite a lot of pressure as well, isn't he? Under a lot of pressure. We get on brilliant. He's a great laugh to work with. But um, the amount of speech he has to do, you know, 29 minutes of non-stop talking. I've covered his rehearsals in the past. Oh, have you? OK. It's hard work. It's just non-stop. I don't know how he does it. So uh, he's very good. The I'm seagull is flying. Love it. Daniel Seagull. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. And thank you for also for playing the game and, and doing our names as well today. Thank you. <laughs>